Time star 526 out here, Concord, left turn out northeast, runway 20, clear for takeoff. Left turn out, runway 20, clear for takeoff, 526 Delta Sierra, thanks. All right, today we're flying again with Alec. Uh, part two of his commercial maneuvers. We're going to try to find some clear air. Got a cloud just above us. Can't do that. And it's a little bumpy. That makes it more exciting. Uh, last time we did, what did we do? We did eights on pylons. Uh, we steep did spiral. St uh, we did steep power turn. And we did power off 180. And engine out. Right, and today we have a new victim in the off. back going to tag right, along with us to what we do up here. All right, so the uh, Shondell, uh, it's climbing 180 turn. We're going to get down to maneuvering speed, do a clearing turn, and then um, we'll use your heading bug for our reference because, again, the last time it's kind of hard to find a point on the ground to use. All right, so we're going to go to a 30 degree bank. And full power. Now we're going to start pitching up while we hold the 30 degree back. All right. Uh, what we want to get our pitch to is about 15 to 18 degrees. Pitch. We're going to keep doing that until we hit our 90 degree. I'm sorry. Yeah, our not. Yeah, our 90 degree point on the turn. Once we get to our 90 degree point, uh, then we're going to switch. So on the first part of it, bank is consistent. Bank is consistent. Pitch is variable. On the second part, we're going to hold pitch at that 15 to 18. Fully unroll it back to wings level when we're 180. You don't want to roll out too early, and you want to hold that pitch. Uh, stall is going to go up at the top of the turn. You're going to be probably just above stall. That's the goal at the top of the turn to be just above stall speed. If you want, I'll do one for you first, just to demonstrate, or you can just dive right in. You didn't, let, what, you didn't literally say dive. <laughs> or, or you can let Doug do one from the back seat. And uh, see how that see how that one turns out. <laughs> All right, my controls. Your controls. I have the controls. All right, so we'll do one to the left. Oh, we're gonna go 30 degree bank. Full throttle. And now we're gonna start pitching up while holding at 30 degrees. And coordinated. All right, and right there is my pitch. I'm a little early on that, but I'm gonna hold that. There's a stall. And you see I'm just slowly rolling out. Aren't you supposed to correct the stall horn though? I this maneuver. And there we go. It's level, 180 degrees. Power up. Uh, your goal is to be just above stall speed at the top of the maneuver. Alright. Alright, your controls. My controls. Uh Bank in 30, full power, start pitching up. Pitch up, pitch up. There's 15. All right, that's just hold degrees. that bank. Oh. Yeah, and roll out slowly, slowly by holding that pitch. I'm losing the pitch. I think it should be wings level at 180. And then at 180, let the pitch come out. Okay. I think you were a little rushed with it. It's slower, a little slower, a little smoother. All right, we'll try one to the right, and then we'll move on to something else. Uh, the right, like I say, you're going to need a ton of right rudder. All right. Nice. About okay. 108. Okay. Let's go to the right. All right. Let's start pitching up right away. Put your bank in first. Put your power, then pitch. You immediately start pitching, put nose down, nose down, nose down. Want it, you got to do it in order, okay? Bank, full power, pitch. Not pitch first and let's let's keep quits, okay? Right again. Bank, full power. Now start pitching. All right, there's your pitch and there's your 90. So start unrolling and holding that pitch. Roll very slowly to the right, or you won't get all the way around. Right rudder, right rudder. Look at all that right rudder we need. And then unroll. That was all good, but you lost 10 degrees of pitch. 
We want to hold that pitch all the way through it. All right, my controls. Your controls. I have the controls. All right, Lazy 8. Lazy 8 is an S turn with constant bank or a constant pitch change. So we're going to go up and down and up and down. One to the right, one to the left. We're going to have to go very slowly on the inputs and we're going to try to maintain a consistent engine power. I think uh, with full load, probably 21 inches. The key with this is we don't want the plane to overbank uh, too quickly. So what I found is if you put just a little bank in and put bank in, as you pull the pitch in, the plane will tend to bank on its own. We're below maneuvering speed clear around here. So we're going to go, I'm going to set my heading bud because we got clouds right, here. No, okay. All right, so we're going to try, let's try this at 21 inches and set our altitude bud because we got to be back on altitude. Okay. So what I'm going to do is at, and I'll walk you through this. We're just going to put a little, okay. a yeah, little bit of bank and we're going to start pitching up. So at the 45 degree point of our turn, we want about 15 degrees of bank. Hey, you with me so far? Yes. Oh, uh, we're turning. See, and I'm really not putting much bank into it. I'm putting elevation, pitch into it. And on my rudder. So now, here we are at 45 degrees on our turn, and I've got 15 degrees of bank. So now I want to get to 30 degrees of bank by the time we get up to our 90 degree point is right there and there's my 30 degrees so now we just want to let her come back down and unroll back to the same altitude on that same heading on the same heading on the opposite heading okay so 180 all right and all right there we go and then i'm a, a bit too soon now we're just gonna do the same thing the other way all right there's 45 degrees of turn up on uh, my 90 degrees of turn, there's 30 degrees of bank. I'm going to release the back pressure. I'm going to let her come down and let her unroll. Run around. And I finished, ooh, I barely, I finished 100 feet high. Okay, so you got to finish within 100 feet of your starting altitude. Uh, 15 goes with 45. At 45 degrees of turn, we have 15 degrees of bank. And then 30 and 90. 30 at 90. And at the 90 point, you basically your level on your pitch. You're basically at 30 degree bank level and then let her come back down. Then the same thing the opposite direction. Alright. Alright, you got the controls? I got the controls. Alright, and we need a little more power. She was stalled a little soon. Alright, so heading bugs is what we're gonna use. Now we're supposed to have more head out of the cockpit, but the landmarks it's very difficult. Alright, back to the 59. Okay. Oh, that airspeed's fine. You said you don't care about airspeed. You don't really care about the airspeed, airspeed, but we're going to go with the power setting. All right, so you go right or left first. Let's put a little bit of bank, and as you start pulling, she's going to automatically want to bank more. On. So this one's the opposite of the one we just did. You don't do it in order; you do it at the same time. Bank right. and pitch. Right. Correct. So that's what I was doing. All right. Good. Now you can do it on this one. You could do it on the last one. Now you can do it. All right, don't touch the power. Try not to. All right, go better, on. better if you can do a consistent power. All right, let's go left. All right, you're, you're banked a little early, so hold on to that until you get to your 45. All right, there's your 45. Chin her up till right before the 90. Over to your 30, get a little more bank, a little more bank. All right, now start letting her come down. Roller, you want to come back down to your original altitude at wings level on your heading button. Yeah, sometimes she doesn't like to come around all the way, but yeah, just the last keep, 10 degrees just keep, really turned out. Just keep nursing her around. All, all right, right, so now your wings level just roll right back in, or you know, a little bit of roll and do it the other direction, but not too quickly. I right, slow your bank down a little bit. You're not quite to the 45 point yet. Off not a 15 either. Right there's 15. Right, the big line's 30. Okay, now just keep rolling her around. Pulling, pulling and rolling until you get to your 30 bank. Yep, you need more. You didn't get You only got to 25. All right, now start letting her down. You didn't get all your, your bank in. There you go. You can see it very slow. So, yeah, your 15-degree bank right in between those two dots, those two lines. 
too. So you want to go really slowly. If you start seeing that bank coming up, to let off some of that pressure. All right. Think you got a good primer on that one? I guess. Very slow and easy. All right, let's head over this way a little bit. Get out of Stanley County's, uh, we're over there airspace. And we'll do a, a steep spiral. Now what this is simulating is you had an engine out. And, and you're, you're over a runway. You're over the point you want to be to land, so you want to keep the plane in that spot. And we do have a 25 knot wind, so it's going to want to push you around a little bit. We want to go stall speed or slightly higher than stall speed, uh, but you have to maintain that speed. Three revolutions down. So we're going to establish that 73 to 80, I'll say somewhere in there. I've been going about 80, because 73, a lot of times you're going to get the uh, a lot of stall horn. So, but you can see where it goes. But whatever you pick, you got to stay on that speed. Right. You got to keep that point wherever you have it. So, you know, obviously going left is going to be easier. If you were to stick to the point, maybe out on the fuel cover or something like that, and just keep it there for three revolutions. And you can use your heading button to track the revolutions. And we have to finish above the floor. The floor is 1500 HEL, right? We're about 700 here. So about 2200, we have to finish. If we do not finish by 2200, we have to abort. 2200. Right. Uh, any of these air maneuvers, if we get down to 20, if we get down to 1500 AGL, we're going to abort. Okay, I got him in sight. All right. So as soon as he, as soon, just like eight on pylons, as soon as he crosses under your wing, power off. Establish best glide. I'll set your heading for here. Three revolutions at a constant airspeed. All right. You got him. Yeah. Power yeah. off. All right. So establish best glide and keep him. Keep him. We're going to be just circling around it. Oh, this wind, right, I almost have to go straight here. The wind is going to push you into it. Yeah, it is. All right, but then also, it's also going to push you away on the other end, so you'll be able to clean a bit. All right, so what's our speed we're establishing? 80? 80. Okay, so that's what we're going to maintain. Now remember, now it's going to start pushing you away. You probably have to bank steeper. Could your yeah, sooner. Your ground speed's going to pick up. Even though the wind is dying down as soon as we go down. Yeah, he's not on the fuel cap. I think I'm too close to him. He's it does matter. You're, you, right you, on him. Look good. I want you to just keep it right there. That was just an initial lineup. Wherever, you, wherever you're comfortable getting him, but I need to be right, right in that spot. And when you're going into the wind, if you want to give an engine clear, some, that helps. You know, idle in the engine too long, you shot cooling. You just give a little burst of power. If you time it right on the going into the wind, it can help you out a little bit. I'm going in now. Just I just give her a little two second burst. Just say, and all you say is, I'm clearing the engine. Trick of the trade. All right, you're coming up on one revolution. I need to go straight more on that when the wind's pushing me right over it. Okay. But actually, this is a quicker turn, so I might get three. I don't know. That airspeed. You got plus or minus 10 knots on that airspeed. Yeah. Yeah, see, I only got 600 feet left. All right, we'll just go as far as we can go. Uh, clear the engine. Clear the engine. Don't clear them enough that you blow your 10 knots. All right, 200 feet. All right, we got through two turns. We'll have to calculate. There. Yeah. Right. Okay. All right. All right, but you kept in there. That's the principle. Maintain airspeed, maintain your point. Uh-oh, uh-oh, I see flames coming out from under the cowling. Yeah. All right, so fuel selector valve. Where's selector the, uh, goes yeah. to off. Mixture goes to off. I lean. Bank, give me some airspeed. Coordinated. 30 to 45 degree bank, more nose down. I want to get up about 140 knots. All right, fire's out. Could have, you could have done even a little more nose down. All right, so then, now we can go back to flying, but what would you do then? Got to put the fire out, then it just turns into a regular engine out. 
Okay. Right? You would find a field, pop her down. Now one of the maneuvers, Doug, is, is he has to do, a, it's called a power off 180 landing, where we be the runway, we'll be down here, we'll turn his power off, he's got to come around and land power, but not just land, he has to land within a 200 foot box. Can't be short of the box, can't be long of the box. So he's got to do it all with just controls and gliding, no power at his disposal. Got to do that today, <laughs> really. All right, there's your thousand footers. All right. Rocking AM traffic, Mooney 2730 Whiskey. We'll be entering uh, left downwind for 3 1, Rocking AM, in a couple minutes. We're All right, back. don't let you judge when to turn and when to do your flaps. Jason, Diamond 941 Lima, on the go, runway 24, departing pattern to the right, north. Davidson traffic, Diamond 526, Delta Sierra, turn in base, runway 24, Davidson. All right, how you feel? Not too fast. Actually, I, I feel like I could get the last notch of flaps, and I feel like I, I'm high. I agree, I think you okay. are high. But the last time I said that, I started sinking, so. But you're a lot closer than last time. Lake Norman traffic, uh, Scout Niner Sierra Papa is uh, clear the final and departing out, out to the north, Lake Norman. Oh, still high. All right, well, if you need a slip, you can throw a slip in. Lake Norman traffic, right. stack 172, Tango, Quebec, is Tabitha on the road. 45 to the left island for a night, one more. Back on track here. I didn't make my final call, I should have done that. Uh, 526, stop here, short final for 24, Davis. Uh, I'm gonna be late past it, I think. Well, I don't know. Get that nose over to the right a little bit. There you go, yeah, you're gonna sail past her. Yeah. It float. Oh, you were oh. short. And you bounce. And it bounce. It just the like heck? it just let go. You keep that pressure off that nose wheel. I thought it was gonna float forever. It just I didn't stopped. You up. She just dove. You were, I wasn't watching your airspeed though. Your speed must have. It was right down. at sixty-five. Okay. She just dropped. Yeah. Start again. That's a fail. I'll write that up. I will right, we'll just stop. Take a little. Alright. We'll rest it. Davidson traffic, Diamond 526, Delta Sierra is clearly active. Dude. That was one of your worst landings in a while. And my worst takeoff. It's Doug, he's a bad luck charm. Oh, man. That's all that extra weight back here. <laughs> all right, where do you want to go? That's fine.